Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying and sort of testing and letting you guys know my thoughts on some brand new makeup that has kind of just come in over the past couple of weeks that's been hyped about on social media that you guys might be interested in to see kind of how it looks, how it wears, what kind of colours and all that kind of stuff. So I'm basically just testing a bunch of new makeup that I feel like you guys would appreciate my thoughts on so you guys know whether to get it or not. Side note, I just wanted to quickly say, do you guys like my jumper? As you guys know, my merch officially launched yesterday at 5pm, the link is down below this hoodie is one of them with the lips on it and it's kind of what inspired this makeup look today, I already know in my head that I want to have like a pink glam vibe going on to go kind of with my jumper, but like I said all my merch is now available and I've left the link down below for you guys and the direct link to my hoodie. Thank you so much for all the love on it so far. If you guys purchased anything, please tag me on your socials. I would love, love, love to see you guys in it. But without further ado, if you want to see a bunch of new makeup being tested, we've got the Huda Foundation, Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, eyebrow cushions. Yeah, I know. Then please smash the like button down below and make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Come join the fam and let's get started. Okay, so the first product I'm going to use isn't like a new in kind of product but it's like new for me and it is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Maroon Boosting Mist. Essentially this is just a really hydrating mist to use to hydrate your skin obviously if you're lazy as fuck like me and you can't be asked to always use a moisturiser. So I thought I'd give this a go today. I'm never sure how much of this stuff you're meant to spray. Whoo! Holy hell. That smells really like zesty I want to say oh my god it's all in my hair all in my hair I don't know if I like that smell you know but that does feel really nice on my skin my skin feels so dry recently like I don't know if you can tell but yeah my skin feels super super dry at the moment I feel like it's the weather and just the change in climate is making my skin go crazy moving on I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty complexion perfection primer this is obviously the primer that goes with the foundation that they've come out with I feel like when brands come out with foundation and primers they're going to be what works best together. Because they're kind of formulated the same and yeah, they're designed to work best. Probably so you buy them together. Oh. 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 <laughs> the primer's jumping. Okay, well if the primer would actually... There we go. And again, going in with my brush. Okay. So I think I have used this primer before, but I think I've actually only used it once. So I can't even remember what I even thought about it. It is quite a thick primer, but it blends really, really nicely into the skin. Always know if it's going to be a good primer because... If it leaves a little bit of like tack on your finger, that's when you know it's gonna be a good primer. Because I think that ingredient's called like glycerin, and that's the stuff that's in that Nivea post shave balm that's obviously not a primer but is like such a good primer. I think that's the same ingredient, and it just means that like anything you put on the top is really gonna cling and stick to your face, so literally not move anywhere. So that's the primer on so far. So far, so good. That feels like a good primer. It has a little bit of a like makeup y smell to it, and I can't put my finger on what it smells like or if I even like the smell but yeah so far so good that feels like it's gonna work really well on my skin it's not too too wet and but it's not too silicone -y, so I feel like it's designed to work for most skin types which is amazing but now it's time to test or just let you guys know my thoughts on the Huda Beauty foundation now I've had this for like a little while I've been wearing it a lot and I do have to say I am in love with it like I'm gonna apply it today with the brush that it comes with or that you can buy with it I have in the past or like all the other times I've been using it been using it with a sponge and I've been loving it but I feel like I've seen everyone kind of apply it to half a face to show the difference in the coverage so I feel like I'm gonna do the same so I can really sorry just shaking it so I can really show you kind of what it looks like because this is no joke guys this is a full coverage foundation it does not budge at all like I have dry skin so maybe when you're prepping your skin if you have dry skin to go a bit more heavy on your moisturizer maybe a mist like this won't be enough but just use a really maybe oil based moisturizer and then go in with your primer that you love and and then with that foundation. But without further ado, I'm gonna mix these two colors together. This is the color Trail Trailishes. Trailishes. I don't know. I said it in a French accent last time I used this, and someone said it was Spanish, so I don't really know how to pronounce it. But basically, Trey Leches is literally how you would pronounce it if you didn't have an accent. And then the shade Latte. So I'm gonna do one pump 
of latte and one pump of tray lettuce on this side of my face and again i'm going to go in with the brush and just show you how this works maybe i'm going to zoom you in as well okay so this is the side of my face with like nothing on and here's going to go in with the foundation Bear in mind guys, I'm slightly more tanned under here and I do like a slightly more tanned foundation. So obviously the colour difference is going to be one of the biggest differences too. Can you see that? Okay, so I've never used this brush before, but I can see why you get complete maximum like coverage out of this and like the most use out of the foundation when you use this because a brush with these kind of bristles doesn't absorb any of the product. It literally just lays it on your face and the flat top of this really just presses it into your skin. And you guys know when I say I want maximum coverage, I always go in with a flat top kabuki brush and then go over with a sponge. So they weren't kidding when they said this was full coverage that was like two tiny pumps and that has covered my whole face well not my whole face but like my whole half the face and the coverage is insane like this has to be the most comfortable full coverage foundation i've ever got my hands on because a lot of foundations with similar coverage just feel so thick on your skin and it's like uncomfortable i feel caked like i really don't like it whereas this feels fine on my skin and looks insane and yeah so my thoughts on the foundation are that i really really love it as a full coverage going out foundation definitely not every day but yeah i love it i'm now gonna go ahead and do my other side of the face and we'll be back okay so i also went ahead and did my concealer because i didn't have a new in concealer but for all you full coverage whores out there tart shape tape plus that huda foundation oh my god i can't tell you how like airbrushed i feel honestly i like this is full coverage realness i'm like obsessed and it's been my go-to combination for when i've been from when i've been going out because it literally it doesn't budge but i am just going to quickly set everything in place with powder although i actually feel like i don't need to because like i said i've got dry skin and both of those products are like of a matte finish but i just always like to set it in place anyway because i may have dry skin but i'm a sweaty bitch you know a sweaty girl so and sometimes when i'm out and about just like around my four head and like my top lip and stuff can get a little bit sweaty so I just like to make sure everything is 100% set in place. Now this is a new and fun product. This is from Iconic London and they're calling it their eyebrow cushion. So it comes in a really cute snazzy case like this and if I open it up it literally is an eyebrow cushion. I think it comes in light, medium and dark and this is the medium shade. So a slightly lighter colour and a darker colour. I feel like the lighter colour is to go through the front of your brows and obviously the darker colour through the tail to create that ombre effect. Now I feel like I'm going to use the little tool that it comes with to get the full first impression and trying the new makeup thing so I'm gonna zoom you in and see how this goes okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush and just press it in to the darker color I feel like you just kind of dab it in like that I'm gonna take this on okay wait first of all, I'm gonna brush through the brow now so this is the shade medium and I'm taking the slightly darker color okay I'm not really sure like what I'd call this. It's not a pomade. It's not, it is almost like a liquid. Ooh. This will be the pigmentation test because you guys know the tail of my brows are like non-existent. But I'm kind of liking how easy it is to apply and to be able to like sculpt your brows with it. It does actually say something about it being like an eyebrow sculpt cushion type product because it literally just glides onto your skin because it's of like the liquidy consistency and I quite like the color as well it's a very cool medium brown but I'm going to stop there with the darker color and move on to the lighter color so I'm just going to dab my brush into the lighter color and start doing the front of my brow you guys know I like to turn my brush up and like mimic brow hairs this brush is really good for doing that actually i think that looks really natural 
What do you guys think? That was pretty easy. Like, that's probably the quickest I've done an eyebrow in, like, months. I'm assuming it kind of just, like, dries down, but I like it. I'm enjoying that pigmentation, too. So that's the Iconic London eyebrow cushion. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow, and then we'll get back to doing the face. Okay, so that's both the eyebrows done. I do feel like the colour is slightly too dark, but then the light one was too light, and then dark was obviously going to be definitely too dark. But they do dry completely matte and I found it was super easy and quick to do so on that note I actually quite like it so a funky new eyebrow product guys an eyebrow cushion so now let's continue on with the face so to contour I'm gonna be using these new kind of face colors from makeup forever and they gave me a personalizable box that they came in which is so cute so I assume that you can purchase the kind of palette online and you can pick three inserts to go in I have left the names of these down below and they gave me a contour a blush and a highlighter so I'm just gonna start off with the corn tour color so off the bat it picks up quite a lot of products so now I'm gonna tap a lot of it off. I feel like it's gonna be quite pigmented. But this contour color in particular is of the warmer, kind of blushier vibe. It reminds me of like MAC Harmony, which is a really gorgeous blusher. But when I used to work at MAC, it was always used as a contour color. It just had a bit more warmth to it. So it tended to be a bit more flattering on most people. So I'm really liking this. And they blend really nicely as well, but they're actually not as pigmented as I thought. But that might be because I'm tapping the product off. They just seem really like buildable, which I think is a crucial factor of a makeup product because then you can customize it to how you like it. I like that color. It's really, like I said, it's more of the warm contour color. So if you actually prefer more of the cooler contour colors, maybe have a look online and see the other shades that they have on offer. But this is the one that it gave me, but that blended really nicely into the skin. I love that. Now to bronze, I feel like this isn't a new product, but it's new for me. This is from BH Cosmetics and it is their satin bronzer in the color Tranquil Tan. You guys know I love a sort of shimmery based bronzer so I obviously go for more of like the matte contour and then a bit of a shimmery bronzer on the woo the skin okay that was a lot of product just came off there but that color oh my god I love it that's not too warm so I'm like not looking orange it really is tan and that blends really nicely into the skin as well I didn't feel like just then when I deposited like a lot onto my face that like blended super easily I wasn't having to faff around and work around it oh I love that and BH Cosmetics is such a super affordable brand so I love when you find like a new product that you're gonna be obsessing over and it's super affordable I think they're also available on Beauty Bay so for us UK babies okay so I'm gonna leave that for the bronzer but I love now I'm going to dip into that blusher from the Makeup Forever little palette. Definitely more of the peachy bronzer, which I can really appreciate, as you guys know. Aww, pretty. Tell you what I will say, though, I wish there was, like, a bit of, like, shimmer in it or something. I think blushes look so much, like, more flattering and, like, youthful when they have just, like, a little bit of shimmer running through it, whether it's just, like, a bit of a gold or something. But I do really like that colour. You guys know I definitely prefer more of a peachier blusher when it comes to blush, so I really like that colour. I would have left the name of it down below. Makeup Forever names are so weird. They're, like, numbers, but it will be the one that starts with a B. Now, this I think will be a product you guys can appreciate. I'm gonna do my highlighter. I am gonna use the one from here, but I'm gonna put down almost like a base highlighter first. Now, this is actually a eyeshadow and it's from Kiko. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, if you don't, it's right here. But this is the water eyeshadow in 233. Now, do you know what I thought when I saw this? This reminds me of the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter. But it's an eyeshadow from Kiko. So if you loved the look of that Fenty Beauty highlighter, but it was completely out of your price range, or just you weren't able to get your hands on it, I feel like this is a dupe, you know? And it's an eyeshadow. And it's not it's also not as intense as that as the trophy wife. If I just apply that here and show you. 
it's a lot more of like a subtle gold highlight and for me this is i like i loved the color of the trophy wife highlighter but it was almost too intense so therefore the gold was too yellow on my skin tone and it wouldn't it didn't look as good as it did on someone with a slightly darker complexion but i feel like this is the this is like a product that allows me to get that same undertone which is why i loved that one it's such a unique gold but it's not as intense it just gives a bit more of like a golden glow rather than a golden pop i literally love the undertone of that so like i said that was the kiko water eyeshadow in 223 and now i can dip into the makeup forever highlighter i swatched this on my snapchat and it was pigmented let me tell you that but like i said i've left the name of this one down below it will be the one that starts with the letter h and i'm just gonna apply this on the top both of these apply really like buttery onto the skin so I always find you get the most out of them when you use circular motions but I'm just gonna put that down the bridge of my nose and onto my cupid's bow as well yay so that is the skin finished and I'm literally loving everything that's on my face right now I feel like this would last a long time too which is always a bonus so I'm now gonna go ahead and move on to the eye makeup which I'm so excited about because we're using this bag boy the warm palette of dreams the sunset palette by natasha denona let's go okay so i'm not 100 sure what exactly i'm going to be doing but i am going to be using some more of the pinkier tones so i'm going to be taking this pale pink color here and that's going to be our initial transition color i'm also actually going to be mixing it slightly with this orange here but mainly focusing on the pink i'm just gonna be buffing that backwards and forwards if you guys have never heard of natasha denona she is i think like a european makeup artist i definitely know she's not from the uk but she's from the europe like side of things i think and she kind of became big on instagram because of her like incredibly glowy flawless makeup and i i think she, from that she then decided to come out with her own makeup so obviously as you can guess when a makeup artist like professional makeup artist comes out with their own makeup range they know exactly what they want and what people want what works best all that kind of stuff so her makeup it has always been phenomenal and she comes out with the coolest stuff like this eyeshadow palette is insane the pigmentation is beautiful the only problem is they're so expensive but they are so worth it i feel like they're so pretty the color payoff is stunning like these mattes are just gorgina moving forward i'm gonna take this shade right here from the same palette it looks really brown on camera but it does have a slightly warmy rosy undertone to it so perfect for a slightly pinker base look and i'm just going to use that to further deepen up the crease i think i'm going to go for like a half cut crease kind of look today because i did my face first oops but they're like an easy glam look to do and i feel like a style that anyone can achieve so I'm just gonna be applying that color to further deepen up the crease and then just going back in with a big fluffy brush to diffuse the colors together okay and the final crease color we're gonna be using is this gorgeous pink down here this color literally screamed to me when I opened this palette it looked so pretty and I'm just using that on a smaller fluffy brush so I can get really precise with my placement blend I do want this color to be quite visible on the eye so I don't want to blend it like away too much I don't want there to be any kind of like super harsh lines going on yay okay so they're kind of all the matte crease colors that I plan to use kind of done for now i'm just gonna use my concealer to create a half cut crease and then we can move on to the lid color which i'm still not sure i want to do but i think there's the, like a shimmery gold in here calling my name okay so now we have done that we can go ahead and do the lid color and i think i'm gonna go in with this shimmery gold just because i feel like that's gonna tie in with everything that's going on so i'm just gonna go ahead and press on with a brush oh shit these shimmery colors are like pressed pigments almost they're so pigmented and obviously having that concealer down acts as like a really good base 
Yes to the gold shimmer. I did get a little bit of fallout, but if you look at the palette, there's a kind of a little bit of fallout from it. So the product itself is a little bit flaky. And just going back in with my brush to diffuse the two colors together. But now I'm looking at that, I do think I want to apply one more shade. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with this matte brown here from the palette again this has a slightly more pinker undertone than some of the other ones so still sticking with that pinky theme i'm just going to apply that to further deepen the crease okay now i'm going to take the matte white shade from the palette and just highlight my inner corner i was so glad that this palette came with like a like highlighting color for your brow bone or your inner corner because sometimes palettes just come with like really really light golds and they don't they're not like bright enough for my personal taste in terms of like highlighting the inner corner so loving that i'm just gonna take a pencil brush and take that kind of matte orangey rosy color from the palette that we used earlier and just run that underneath my eyes to kind of connect everything together and finish off the eye Okay, now on to mascara and lashes. Now, this is a new mascara for me. It is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And so far, when I've been using this, I actually have really been loving it. I didn't think I would because the brush isn't my, st like, go-to brush for a really good mascara. But I'm not applying a huge coat as I will be applying falsies. But they really just kind of fan out my lashes and give a really nice fluttery effect. So I really have been loving this so if you guys are in the market for a new mascara try the Tarte Lights Camera lashes because I am really loving this now here's what I'm really excited about these are new lashes from Velour and they are in the style dream girl they look so fluffy and so fluttery so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these now and show you what the style looks like but I feel like I am gonna be in love with these okay so these are the finished eyes with the eyelashes on I knew I was gonna be in love with this style they're like a really gorgeous fluttery rounded style so whenever I do my rounded eyes I feel like these are gonna be my go-to lash from now on I've left the name of them down below obsessed they look super natural too okay moving on to lips I as you can already tell I have already lined my lips because I didn't have a new lip liner but to go with my baby pink hoodie I'm gonna be using this new liquid lipstick from bleach London this is Lou T Stell's makeup brand or just like brand in general and she kindly gifted me a bunch of products that she thought I would love and she gave me the like most gorgeous nude this is called matte le blanc I am, I swatched the colour, I'm already obsessed, and it's definitely going to go with the, like, baby pink vibe that we've got going on, so I do deliberately want this to be quite a baby light pink, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this now. This is so pigmented and feels so comfortable, like, sometimes with a lot of liquid lipsticks, you have to really build on the colour and the pigmentation, but this has, like, instant coverage straight away and it's a really gorgeous color too it almost like dries instantly but in a good way but i'm obsessed with that color it's so hoodie appropriate but although i'm gonna be going in with a gloss and this is from per cosmetics it is part of their like nude oh their nude gift set that they come out with and this is the birthday suit gloss now what i love about this it comes with like a light so you can use it in the dark and it has like a little mirror on the side too so i'm just going to be applying this on the top oh my god it smells like like cakes like vanilla smell i love that you see how the gloss kind of neutralized that pink a little bit and made it a bit more peachier and wearable mm, i'm i really like that combination together but that is the finished makeup look so this is the finished makeup look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i used some new products that you guys had been maybe curious about or just wanted to see how they wore on the skin let me know in the comments down below if you're planning to get anything or if you've tried any of the products that i've used and your thoughts on it also let me know in the comments down below if you guys managed to purchase any of my merch yesterday and if so what did you get and all that kind of good stuff let's just have a little chat. If you like these kind of testing new in makeup videos, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And again, subscribe before you leave. But until the next video, I will see you soon. Bye, guys.